Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. With a more than 90% probability that Comet Ison broke apart from a major heating event on its approach to the Sun Thanksgiving Day, the search is on for what's left of it. NASA will use a variety of space and Earth-based telescopes to monitor the comet over the next several weeks before the fate of Ison can be confirmed. The Orion spacecraft's protective heat shield was transported from New England, where it's been under construction, to Kennedy Space Center in preparation for Orion's first test mission in September of next year. The heat shield will protect Orion from temperatures as high as 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit as it re-enters our atmosphere at 22,000 miles an hour from a high-altitude orbit. It's the world's largest ablative heat shield for a spacecraft and is critical for crew safety. Blue Origin recently test-fired a new hydrogen and oxygen-fueled rocket engine at the company's West Texas facility. The test of the BE-3 engine simulated various stages of flight, including launch, final burn, and landing. In partnership with NASA's commercial crew program, Blue Origin is developing vehicles that could provide transportation services for humans and cargo to low Earth orbit. NASA's Great Moon Buggy Race is now the Human Exploration Rover Challenge. This new engineering design challenge focuses on the agency's current plans to explore not just the moon, but planets, asteroids, and other bodies in the solar system, encouraging students to design, construct, and test technologies for mobility in these environments. The event takes place April 10th through 12th next year at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama. More details are at www.nasa.gov slash rover challenge. NASA scientist Ed Stone, the principal investigator of the Voyager mission, stopped by the Stephen Colbert show to discuss the mission, which has seen Voyager 1 surprise the world by becoming the first human-made object to reach interstellar space. But Colbert teamed up with NASA to give Stone another surprise. The former Jet Propulsion Laboratory director was presented the NASA Distinguished Service Medal, the agency's highest award for those who have personally made a contribution representing substantial progress to the NASA mission. NASA Associate Administrator Robert Lightfoot and others in the aerospace community attended a celebration at Cleveland's Great Lakes Science Center to mark the 50th anniversary of the first successful Atlas Centaur launch back on November 27, 1963. The Centaur Upper Stage, the world's first liquid-fueled rocket, was developed at Glenn Research Center, then known as Lewis. The Centaur has sent spacecraft to every planet in the solar system. Voyager and most recently MAVEN were launched by a Centaur. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on social media and visit www.nasa.gov.